Whenever y'all are ready. So I've called this meeting to order. The time is 5.30. Notice uh, today is Monday, March 7th, 2022. And it's the special meeting for the Planning and Zoning Commission. Notice is hereby given that the Alpine Advisory Board of the City of Alpine, Texas will hold a special meeting at 5.30 on Monday, March 7th, 2022 at Alpine City Council Chambers located at 803 West Holland Avenue and via Zoom. For the purpose of considering the attached agenda meeting, logging details may be found on the city website 24 hours prior at www.cityofalpine.com com slash meeting link. This notice is posted pursuant to the Texas Open Meetings Act. Action items approved at this meeting will be considered by the city council for final action. And I'll call this meeting to order. Determination of quorum and proof of notice. Do you? Uh, yes, we do have a quorum present. Uh, the notice of this meeting was posted on March 2nd at 5 p.m. Then we'll move on to item number three, public hearings. Public hearing to obtain citizens' views and comments regarding changes to the coin-operated machine ordinance, including one, the implementation of a machine limited per establishment. Two, clarification of the initial $350 permit fee. Three, other changes to existing ordinance as recommended by the commission. So we are open for discussion. Would you like to make a comment? Uh, no. No? Okay. okay. No, nothing else has been received and no one else is present to make a comment. Okay. So then we move to item number four, approval of minutes of previous board meeting. For February 28, 2022, regular meeting minutes. <laughs> Maybe I'll have had a chance to go through them really quick. Y'all had a chance to look at them? Look at them okay, so if I can get a motion to approve the minutes for February 28, 2022, regular meeting minutes, please. I um, move that we approve the minutes. I'll second. They've been approved and second. Oh, all in favor. All in favor. Aye. <laughs> Number five, discussion. Well, I think we're going to discuss. Yeah, the, the discussion is us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, there's really no discussion items on this one. Um, we, we have the, the one that oh. you requested under action. Okay, just the action item. Right. Okay. So there's none for discussion on number five. And then on number six, it's action items. Approve a recommendation to city council regarding changes to the coin operated machine ordinance, including number one, the implementation of a machine limited per establishment. Two, clarification of the initial 350 permit fee. Three, other changes to existing ordinance as recommended by the commission. Can I have a motion, please? I'll make a motion that we discuss the action items. In a second. A second. And we can discuss it now. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if we take it one item at a time, the implementation of the machines limited per establishment. Um, so as you all had 
Or as you all know, last time there was a recommendation to limit it to six machines. And I and I did advise you that I could go ahead and do that. And then you can change it as you deem necessary. Uh, so right now, the one that I presented in your packet does have a limit of six coin operated machines mm -hmm. per establishment. Um, that, and there was some other just structural changes to the ordinance under section 90-105, applications and permit form. It was really cleaning up some of the language located in that section. And then under the application, there was a small change just to kind of reiterate that the machine limit would be six per establishment. Oh, um, but we can make changes yeah. to that and okay because Absolutely. I think our concern is that it was it, it that six was too um conservative, limited, I, yeah, too conservative. I mean personally that's my, but mm -hmm. you know Jessica can speak to the fact that you know someone came in asking well maybe I should just kind of retract this you know retract the um yeah, well, I mean, because it's just so limited. Plus, you know, plus there's already the three thousand one hundred twenty-five mm -hmm. annual fee. Um, and I they have rent and their electricity and their water and you know, like they right they're concerned they're not going to be able to keep their doors open. And you know, keep in mind, mm -hmm. of course, they can't. One of the biggest reasons the council didn't approve it was because I think that was a little too conservative at four. So I right. think six isn't. And and our thoughts were, and we can just speak right now. Our thoughts, the reason why we thought that they should be limited were because other cities and then even in Alpine, you know, I guess that these game rooms, um, there have been adverse secondary effects, you know, including but not limited to property crimes, personal crimes, gambling offenses weapon of offenses, they've been associated with illicit drug use and trafficking, some human trafficking, negative impacts surrounding properties, you know, creating urban blight and litter and, and devaluing properties near it. And I think that our intent is we, you know, we want to create, we want, I mean, the intent of planning and zoning is, you know, safety and welfare of the community members. Um, so, I mean, we discussed limiting, but we don't also, you know, we want, we want to be reasonable. What is it at now? There's not a limit. There's uh, currently an unlimited number of machines. Oh. Uh, the the Planning and Zoning Commission had recommended a limit to four quite mm -hmm. some time ago, and uh, it went through a first reading, and at the second reading, council postponed it because, I mean, there was really just, a lot of questions as to whether or not there should be a limit, what the limit should be, et cetera. I think, like I said, that four was a little too conservative in their opinion. They actually had one of the council members make a motion to change it to unlimited, but I think unlimited was also, you know, a little too much. Right. Um, you know, one thing I did want to mention is that uh, you all have requested looking into doing it by space, by mm -hmm. spacing. Mm -hmm. And one issue that I did see with that, if you were wanting to limit them to a certain number, that would open up, you know, a person could go and build and or buy a warehouse right. and have yeah. Yeah, a lot of them. I agree. Mm -hmm. so. um, Interesting. That's true because the yeah. one on Murphy has a lot of machines in it and they have plenty of space for it. Right. I went so in this, there the other yeah. day to look and just see because yeah. I'd never been in one. So I was just curious. What, what is it completely up to you all? What, you what are they about? averaging in these buildings now? How many machines? Uh, between 20 and 40. Um, are there, and I've got to go back on the, um, I noticed like other cities, they have ordinances that they have to have a um, windows that you can see through from the front side and back. Is that anything that we've implemented? No. Mm -hmm. Doors. No, but they have the doors have to be available to be open at all the time. They mm -hmm. can't lock the doors. They can't lock the doors. Yeah, I mean that's by law. Um, there's, I mean, there's no rules on being able to see through the windows. But I mean, the the similar issues that you have with coin operated businesses mm -hmm. that you listed are very similar to what you get from a bar. When we go through the same, right, right. I mean, you're going to yeah. get vandalism and people being unorderly mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. trashing neighborhoods and being stupid mm -hmm. and getting fights. I mean, so we have to keep that in mind too, that 
they, this is a business. It is in our ordinance and it's legal. So right. as long as they're not doing anything illegal. And it's, you know, yeah. So. Um, so I think originally we thought it was eight, which, you know, um, Amit thought that six, you know, last week it should go from four to six. Most of us were in agreement at the time that it should be eight. Mm -hmm. um, Cause that's what we thought it was originally. I don't mm -hmm. know if you remember from last summer. We thought I don't it was how eight. we did it last summer. I don't remember yeah. the limit. Well, we thought it was eight, but they, but then we realized it, that it had never been mm -hmm. listed in the ordinances. Um, and so right now, like the one on Murphy, how many? Uh, about 42. 42. This is, and this, this uh, limit that we're doing, is this for new establishments? Are the other ones grandfathered in? Uh, no, you know, I reached out to our attorney last time to ask if we mm -hmm. can limit it for all establishments when the ordinance was passed and he said yes. So the way that it's written, it says the provisions of this ordinance apply to premises with coin operated machines in existence at the time of enactment of this ordinance. So it would apply to everyone in the city, whether it's already there or not. Can we ask a question? Can I ask, yeah. like how many, I mean, is could you operate a business with 10? Uh, 10 is, is not good for us because we had to, just like he's saying, we have to pay annual fee of 3000 It used mm -hmm. to be 1000 mm -hmm. So uh, the CD changed to 3000 And the place that I went, I, I, uh, I pay like 2300 a month plus AC and wireless, let's say about uh, between 3000 and 3500 a month. And then uh, to op to operate so um, with uh, a lot of miscellaneous in there. So <coughs> some uh, ten is 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 not work. It's not gonna uh, <laughs> make it. Do you normally have more than ten people customers at a time? What's your average flow? That is like ten or less. And sometimes less. easy, but about 10 people. But sometimes all day, only like four, four to 10 people in and out. Like sometimes it's busy on the weekend, but sometimes it's not. So this may be a dumb question, but if you only have 10 or so people, why do you need 42 machines at once? Because the machine breaks out a lot. So uh, the reason I put in, because I don't want to bother uh, Jessica or the CD in and out, tech in and out all the time. So sometimes it's like 40, 42 machine, but like some of them like five or six, seven, they're not working that. Then I just turn it off. Mm -hmm. And then that's why I don't want to bother them. Mm -hmm. But plus, um, uh, before we got eight machines, sometimes people come in, they like that machine that had to, uh, they had to wait in line. So sometimes like, Get them like two to three hours to play that machine. So that's why mm -hmm. we put our machines a bit more chance for people that just want to sit down, play, enjoy, and relax. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Or does the establishment own the machines or are they leased out? Uh, <laughs> some of them leased out, some of them on the machine. You do own the yeah, machines? I, I most do of them? The, on the machine. Is there, would there be a way that you, if you could say, if you could only have 10 machines or eight machines, and if one breaks down, can you swap it out for one of the other ones that you own? Yeah, you need to do that. So would that solve your problem of having, if your machines broke down, with, and you, if you had 10 machines, would that solve that? If, if you're saying the machines break down frequently? Yeah, plus um, if 10 machines, then like I said, uh, we got a head. We have a problem that people are uh, uh, most of them they don't play the other machine. They just like one machine. They just wait at least like thirty minutes, hour, hour and a half, two hours to to get to that machine. So that's mm -hmm. why I had like three, four same machine just display. So they they don't have to wait and they don't complain. People have their favorite machines. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. 
What do we it's feel all like having people proposing if there was 10 instead of six? What would we be accomplishing by making it less? Right. Well, I think our we wanted fewer. Right. Right. Fewer machines. So Unlimited is too much. We need right. to. I do six is too few. We need to. Yeah. Four and six is likely too few. So you can't operate a business. So we're maybe thinking eight or 10. Right. So if he has four to five people at a time in the, that use the, the game room, mm -hmm. and then he could have some machines that, you know, he, if he has to circulate or mm -hmm. you know, we'll swap them out, mm -hmm. there wouldn't be any rule Ten against machines. him having extra machines in storage for that purpose. It breaks out if they're not plugged in. If so they're not plugged in on the machines. floor, right? right? Yes. They're not plugged in. Right. So, I mean, if they, they'd have to be out of the room. Uh, well, I don't know if they have to be out of the room. They just have to be unplugged. I mean, if they're inspected right away, 10 better be the only ones plugged in. Yeah. Well, um, we would keep them from plugging them in just if they well, feel like nobody's nothing, coming by. But, you know, I don't know if we can. It's not really enforceable, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's enforceable. It's just, you know, doing it is the problem. Well, right? I thought um, um, PD was supposed to go in and check on them. And they're doing it more, too, mm -hmm. anyway. Right. They? Yeah, they are. They are definitely doing it more. Um, I like the number 10, uh, but I don't want to make it to where they have to take all the machines they have now and dump them somewhere. Right. Know? That's what I was wondering. If they, if they lease the machines. So, okay. So, so and I know you said, so some machines you own, some you lease. No, I own all. You own machines, all. Okay. Some, some other, they, uh, if they can afford it, they can lease the machine. Okay. The, the, the reason I own all the machines, it takes me. Three to five years to own it. You, you buy like one or two at a time. Mm -hmm. Cause mm -hmm. they 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 expensive. Right. Yeah. So it's take me about three to four years to build up that kind mm -hmm. of machine. Jessica, how many are at the other location? Do you remember? I'm not quite sure. It's a smaller building. Twenty-five. Yeah. So I say in the twenties. And they have some at the Legion too, or does that not? Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't, go, that doesn't count because it's yeah, we membership. Can't it's non-profit. Okay. Yeah, we uh, can't touch okay. them. It's only the profit <laughs> ones that mm -hmm. were right. And then going. right. I'm just curious how much are at the Legion. I've never been in there. About 20. 20. Uh, See, so it's just the two locations for right now that we yeah, have to, to reduce the amount of the machines and then any mm -hmm. new coming in would have the 10 or eight or whatever from then on, right? Well, whoever, it, based off the ordinance, it, whatever number you give to council, if they approve it, whoever already has an operating plan establishment will have to abide by that new number. And then all the new ones would have to abide. New okay. There's only four allowed. They've already reduced the amount allowed in the side city limits to four. Mm -hmm. So you can only have four coin operated businesses mm -hmm. in all the city of mm -hmm. Not including the Legion. Not including the Legion. Okay, right. Um, and then for the new, um, <clears throat> I don't know, this may be another, well, you know, I, we'll, we'll finish this discussion item and then we'll move on. I mean, I think I, 10, 10 seems like a reasonable number, if, especially mm -hmm. if he doesn't have more than 10 people in there at a time. That's what I'm thinking. And if they wait an hour and a half, they can keep waiting. Yeah. Right. So come back. And, um, and when it's presented to council are the, the minutes or the reasons why we recommended 10 presented to council? I can certainly add that. Okay. Um, just let me know for sure what you want me to communicate with. Okay. Them. All right. Because I think that the conversation we've had today about the number of um, customers he has at a time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then um, I guess the um, you know, like you asked. So the next one will be the that we're going to discuss is the clarification of the initial three hundred fifty dollar permit fee. So this is again where we explain that every special use permit uh, we charge that three hundred fifty dollar fee. We have been charging that fee for new applications. But we just wanted to clarify, have it written that that fee will be charged. 
and that $350 fee is non-refundable and regardless if it passes or not. Prime example being the last coin operated machine that you all, uh, permit that you all recommend. <clears throat> we still have those administrative costs that we go through. We send letters to mm -hmm. everybody within 200 feet. We have staff time to preparing the agenda, preparing stuff for council, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's what that's paying for. <clears throat> right. So we can move on to item number three, other changes to existing ordinance as recommended by the commission. Did, we have, did you all discuss anything on that last week? Well, we discussed the um, fire safety, the fire codes that, um, and- How many I, people, that's why we were wondering right, how right. many people per square feet. And um, I know that other cities, I mean, they do include not, I mean, just a, couple that I looked at, uh, with the applications, um, a current annual fire inspection report from fire safety official. I don't know if this is, if we include that, do we have that? Yeah, well, they do get a fire inspection report. Okay, a copy yeah. of their- But if you're not planning on doing the, by based off right. square footage, and you're gonna do it based off of a minimum, right. they already have that. It's our, so that's already taken care of. It's we don't need it. And then like the, the um, and then we ask for a, we have a floor plan. Yeah, is all that of included? that's a part of their, um, um, inspection, so they'll have to have um, exit signs, no protection, right. like any Two other. doors, all they that do kind a of whole stuff. Okay. Occupancy before they move in, so. Um, so they do get a certificate of occupancy. They do, get a, and it's renewed every year. Okay. With their fire okay, so I think that was the only other thing that we had talked about. Um, and then when when anyone applies for a, a permit, do they have to submit a, a valid driver's license or an ID, state uh, ID? For coin-operated um, business, they have to go through a DPS background. That's not right. right. Okay. And that's okay. That was part of the application fee. That's why it's all that mm -hmm. processing mm -hmm. that we do before they're even approved. And so that's why we want to clarify that that special use permit goes in. Um, and is paid for in the beginning because before what they were doing is they were paying the licensing fee, so they put in a thousand or three thousand mm -hmm. dollars in, and but we've never really had any of them denied. Right. And there's so many more restrictions now that if if it doesn't go through and get accepted, that all of the work that went into it has been taken care of okay. with, between PD and PNZ and the administrative. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I think that's all we discussed. We're just yeah. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Maybe all we need to do now is make, make a, rec a new recommendation for the meetings, <coughs> and that was our only. That was the last thing that we. Think so. Yeah. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. So I think the best way would be to just go ahead and dispose of that first motion by voting on it. It was just to discuss the action items, okay. and somebody can make a new motion. So, you know. Um, if you want to go ahead and amend that amount, just say, you know, I make a motion or I move to amend the ordinance to include a limit of 10 machines, something okay. along those lines. So I need somebody to try oh, a motion. I make a motion to amend the ordinance for a maximum of 10 coin operated machines per establishment. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I saw it. That was unanimous. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear the second. Who seconded? Mm -hmm. Wendy. <clears throat> and can you just take a vote on that first one? It was just to discuss uh, the action items. Huh? Take so, a vote. Oh, yeah. So I need a. All those are, well, we already did the, the so, motion, right? So yeah, now we just need was, to there was two motions. One was to discuss the action item, and then one was made by Commissioner Branch to add the maximum of 10 machines. So now I just need a just a vote. To a vote on uh, the to to approve the no to discuss to discuss. Yeah, so we could just get rid of that by taking a vote on that. So, we, so just so, if you put it to a vote. For the motion that was originally made to discuss the action items. Okay, so we just need to vote. So all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so, and then we're down to number seven. Board member comments if anybody has any. No? I don't think so. Okay. Item number eight adjourned. And our next meeting will be March 28th, 5 30 p.m. March 28th. Yes, it's the fourth month. So, Abby, um, 